Okay, so this short video is going to be about the crossover alert study, which is designed to do exactly what it's called, which is to alert whenever we have a crossover. Now, it's a very flexible study, and I'll show three different examples of its usage. Um, the first example I'm going to show is we want to have a, an alert whenever um, the last price crosses above or below this simple moving average I have plotted on the screen. So we already have the, the last, that, that's the price, and we have the moving average, and now I'm going to be adding the crossover alert. So I go into Add Custom Study, and I have Alert on Crossover. It's right here. And I add that. And in the study settings, the first one, two, three, four settings are the standard settings for alerts you'll find in the CR chart, um, all the other alerts, all the other CR chart alert um, dialogs. The next two input parameters are where I will configure which two lines to monitor. Now, I can basically select any two lines that are subgraphs on any chart, which means that in this case, I'm going to be looking for whenever the line 1 crosses line 2. So for me, line 1 is going to be the main price graph, the last price. Okay, So whenever the last price crosses the moving average. Okay, which basically means when line 1 crosses line 2. Okay, I could have selected any other two lines, but I'm going to, we're going to be looking at that. I can tell it whether I want it to be um, across whenever you know the, the, the last price crosses the moving average from above or from below or in both directions. In this case I'll keep it in both directions. And last I can add an alert message. So in my case I'll add just a custom alert message and I'll call this price crossed MA. Okay? Click OK, click OK. And in order to demonstrate it we will just move back a bit to an area where, um, you know, let's make this easier for us. Let's change the MA so we have more established cross points that are easier to test. Let's make this a 50 period moving average. Okay, so now we, it'll be easier for us to see how this works in action. I'll go back to this point. As you can see on this bar here, price cross. So I'm going to run a replay starting from here. Let's run it at a rate of times 10, no, times 100, and see what happens. Okay, so price is moving, slowly moving up, and we're going to wait for the moment where price crosses the moving average, and we'll expect to get an alert when that happens. Okay, so the alert triggered, and I paused the replay for now. And if I open up the alerts window, show hide alert log, you'll see that we had two alerts, and my custom message appears here price crossed MA. And that is basically it for the um, moving average. Now this is very simple, as you can see, to set up. No coding, no formulas, nothing, just to set up the different lines that we want to monitor. I'll show another example that we could have done is, let's say that I want to um, get an alert whenever price crosses the, let's see what level we're going to look for. Let's stop this for a second. Okay, so let's say that we have, we want to see an alert for whenever price crosses the 14.10 level, okay, which is right here. What I would do is I would, sorry, studies, add what Sierra Chart has as a line study. Okay, now the line study is very simple. All it accepts, all it accepts is one value. So I'm going to put this value to 14.10, and I'm going to, put it on chart region 1. Let's change the color so I can see it better. I'll make it red. Now I have a line at 1410. I can use this line to generate an alert whenever price crosses it. 
okay, with the same study, nothing has changed. I'm just going to go into my studies, and I'm going to go into crossover alert, and I am going to select. This stays the same whenever the last crosses our line study. Line study only has one option, and that's it. Click OK. Now let's see this in action. Price actually crosses on this bar here. So let's see that if we scroll back to here and replay, I will expect to get an alert whenever price crossed through that line. Let's give it a moment. And there we go. The beep. Check it out. Show hide alert log. And there we have our third alert. That concludes our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, crossover alert. It's a very simple alert, extremely flexible. You can use it for any subgraph. No need to write any code or any formula. Just slap it on there, configure the two lines. Add your message and you're good to go. See you on the next video and bye bye.